Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today on the Asus ROG Ally, we are taking a look at Spider-Man Remastered. Um, we're going to go through a couple of settings um, using the screen capture card today. Usually I just use this for tutorials on upgrades and settings and tweaking your system. But let's go through um, some gameplay today. Obviously on a 1080p um, ROG Ally 7-inch screen, it looks a lot better. And this is obviously being blown up to a 4K screen if you're watching this on your TV. Um, I'm so almost yeah, there. just Blocks away. bear with us. That's the disclaimer. Guess I'll just do it myself. No, um, don't. So first we're safe. taking a look at 25 watt um, TDP, 720p. Um, gotta love screen Doc's resolution. But sometimes it gets him into trouble. Um, 2 get there before he hurts himself. You could see most of the settings were low. Let's just see what kind of... Um, frames per second we get, what kind of performance. You can see we have reading around the 58 frames per second to about 72 frames per second. Obviously depending on what's happening on the world map, um, in the city streets, down below, etc. So I originally played this on my PS4 Pro back in the day. Um, I don't think I bought all the DLC, so jumping in um, back into the game, um, the remastered, having all that DLC, definitely looking forward to that. So I basically jumped from the base game on PS4 Pro to Miles Morales and then to the sequel on PS5. So I never got to play the original DLCs, so yeah, it's at least something to look forward to now that I've got the remastered copy. So obviously if um, this format is um, popular with you guys, um, do hit that like and subscribe button, um, drop a comment and let me know. Um, this is the kind of content the that you want to see more of. Um, direct um, capture Scorpion, of the ROG Ally screen. We can try, try different um, from your resolutions set. like we're doing you, today. Yuri? We're Anything. trying different um, upscaling um, settings. Huh. Looks like Jameson's Any got a new episode out. I'm open to them in the comments. my number one fan thinks about the Fisk takedown. This is Just the Facts with J. Jonah Jameson, where listeners like you discuss the issues affecting our city with Pulitzer Prize winning two time! Two time Pulitzer Prize winning former publisher of the Daily Bugle. Hey, plug the book! And, and as always, if you order Mr. Jameson's book, Spider Man, Brett, or Matt. So, in the next couple of days, I am going to be going through um, a few of the Sony PlayStation games that are available on the PC. Um, I think they went on sale. Um, quite recently on Steam, Green Man Gaming, Fanatical, etc. So, yeah, look forward to those. 24 hours of our broadcast, you'll get an autographed copy. Okay, so now we're 25 no watts, 1080p, 900p resolution. Welcome Still on FSR 2.1 balanced. Let's just see what kind of performance difference we get. Let's dive right into the calls. 720p balanced, we were getting 58 to 72 frames per second, you can see 900p, we're taking a bit of a performance hit, we're down to about 52 to 63 frames per second, so we've shaved about 10 frames, here and there, obviously based on what you're doing, um, where in the world, map you are, what activity is happening on screen, etc. Also, just note um, the VRAM setting on the ROG Ally. I did tweak it. Um, usually, it stays on auto. But I did up online, uh, most people Jonah. are playing this um, with a setting nice about 6 gigs allocated to VRAM. So I thought let's give that a try. You 
can see running up the building there, we even got 100 frames per second. That's quite impressive. But on 2.1, um, FSR 2.1 balanced, we're mostly getting around 52 to 63 frames. It's quite fluid and on the 7 inch ROG Ally screen, it's very impressive, um, I have to say. Obviously, if you're going to blow up that image to a 4K TV, if you're watching this on YouTube, it might not look impressive, but believe me, it looks impressive on the 7 inch Ally screen. And obviously, you've got VRR um, 140Hz, looks extra smooth. Okay, so now we've upped the ante, we've gone to 1080p, still at 25 watts on FSR 2.1 balanced. Let's just see what kind of frames we're getting. Okay, we're in the low 50s here. So obviously this is unlocked guys, um, if you want a more stable um, experience, obviously lock the frames, cap it at maybe 30 frames a second if you want, maybe cap it at 45, I think 45 would actually make um, a lot of sense, this is just um, to demonstrate um, just um, unlocked what kind of frames you'd be um, getting with all the upscaling um, variation technologies yeah okay so 1080p fsr 2.1 balanced mostly around 45 to 59 frames per second Trying to catch the train here. Okay, let's go test um, another upscaling technology, a variation on what we've been doing. So now we're still staying at 25 watt TDP, 1080p as well, FSR 2.1, we're going to make it quality, see how that um, affects our frames. Okay, so you can see we've taken another hit. Um, we're now hovering around the 40 frames per second to 58 frames per second mark. Still very playable experience. Obviously, you can lower your TDP a wee bit. Um, can also cap your frame rate to just conserve battery. This is just to demonstrate 25 watts um, when you're not um, plugged in and what kind of performance you get. Uncapped, unlocked. Yeah, so if um, there's a good reception to these kind of videos, guys, I'll definitely invest in a better um, capture card. The current card I'm using is um, doing pretty much 1080p, um, 60 frames per second, which isn't a problem, obviously, because um, for the most part, the resolution on these handhelds, well, the ROG Ally especially is 1080p. Obviously, um, I also cover the Legion Go on my channel. That will obviously go up to 1200p and 1600p, but on these portable handhelds, nobody's really playing at 1600p. Um, your battery's not gonna last um, pretty long.
Okay, so for 25 watt, it's getting B, and for some 2.1 performance, you can see we're hovering around 45 frames per second to 68 frames per second mark. Definitely, um, if you um, are, let's say, resilient or you can tolerate more um, upscaling artifacts, then by all means go for performance. But obviously, um, you'll see in the next um, setting that we toggle to, it's going to be ultra performance. There'll be even more um, upscaling artifacts, ghosting, just deterioration in the quality of the image, of course. Just trying to get um, the maximum frames, if that is your end goal. So it's definitely just depressions, guys. Okay, so FSR 2.1 Ultra Performance at 1080p resolution, 25 watt TDP. You can see we are bringing around the 44 to 70 frames per second mark. Definitely an improvement in the um, frames per second that we're getting. But yeah, the quality of the image definitely takes a noticeable hit. You'll we'll even see it on the Ally 7 um, inch screen. So I personally wouldn't recommend this, but to each his own. Yeah, so do hit that like and subscribe button, guys. Appreciate the support the channel's been getting. Um, till next time, cheers.